Welcome back to Beverage Hunters. We got our good friend Tim Beatty back in the studio today. We're excited. We've been trying quite a few of Tim's drinks for quite a while. Every time you bring us stuff, it improves. It gets different. A little bit. It's good. It's fun. We like this stuff. Support mm -hmm. local brewers, support local breweries. It's what we're all about here on this channel. True. So what do we have for today, Tim? This is a red wine that a friend of mine uh, who owns H&V. Okay. Um, H&V Cellars. Yep, Cellars. Okay. Uh, he had some great vines out front. This is Bockroll Nor, I'm probably gonna say that wrong. Uh, when I was trying to type it to let uh, you know what mm -hmm. it was, I think it spelled bacon. I think it re. re oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> however, so this is a single grape wine. Is it a red wine? Um, just to pre warn you, the alcohol content is about. 20%. <laughs> so when it was when it was, yes. when it was when it was fermenting, uh, it actually blew the vodka out of my uh, airlock three times. Oh, wow. uh, <laughs> it never it never ruptured out, but it did blow it out three times. So really it was definitely. So, so Nick, you might want to be careful popping that. Okay. Yeah. So uh, yeah. Sending it, Dave. I'm sending it. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> so it's very strong, just to let you know. So good to know. So we're gonna go a little light. I'm not a big wine drinker. I never really have enjoyed wine that much. Yeah. To be fair though, I also haven't like branched out and tried a lot of wine. Yeah. The handful of times I've tried it is probably yeah. normally so been. This cheap has also shit. been in a oak barrel. So it's gonna oh, have a little okay. bit of that. It's have a little oak okay. But I did remove all the seeds and all the stems. So no chewing necessary. So there shouldn't be any of that when we're, when hmm. we're drinking it. So there's right. none of those flavors from that should be in there. Yeah. So. What, now what would that do? Would that make it bitter? It could give it uh, a little bit more of an acidic okay. uh, taste mm -hmm. to it. Yeah. Okay. So. We getting fancy, we aerating? What's going on here? Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. It has been pre-aerated before I put it in the bottle, so it should be good to go. It smells like wine. Yeah. yeah, it definitely tastes like wine. Ooh. I can drink that. It is a little twenty percent. Yep, and it's also a little fruity, and you got to be careful because it will sneak up on you. Yeah, I'm you, sure it can. you could get fucked up on this. That, <laughs> that doesn't taste like twenty percent no, at it all. And it, it even has a little bit of fruitiness left in the in the back end, which is kind of lovely. Yeah, it's very fruity. I I'm so used to wine having such like a dry approach on the tongue. Right. This right. doesn't have that at all. Yeah. yeah, it's like I was prepared for it. Especially like, when I heard twenty percent, I was like, "This like, is gonna be like rubbing out." My mouth, <laughs> my mouth was made like, that, yeah. My mouth so. was like looking around, going, "All right, where is it? Where right, is it?" Right. I just there. wanted a really uh, nice, easy to drink wine. This is very um, easy, especially yeah. for the holidays. You know, I think this would go pretty good with turkey, or even with a prime rib. So Fuck I wanted yeah, really want to make sure. So mm -hmm. uh, here, pretty soon, as good. in during the Christmas time. Um, I will have a really wonderful um, salted caramel oh. uh, oh. stout coming out, and oh. uh, definitely want to make sure you guys are uh, in there for that. Hell well, yeah, and, dude. Uh, Today, you know, I've been working, like I said earlier, with my proton pack, but I've also been working on my three kettle brewing system, so we'll be, we'll be mm -hmm. doing more and more of that, so. Uh, I'm a fan of this. Yeah, uh, good. Not to sound like a fucking brown noser. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not oh, a wine guy oh, at all. Oh, sorry, so, thank you, thank so, you. so, so, so for a wine, uh, it's very easy to drink. Very easy to drink. It is. And uh, you know, specifically, my wife likes the, the fact that it's easy to drink. So, and I personally, on the wine side, yeah, I kind of, I kind of that. tend toward the reds anymore. I do like the good bold merlots and stuff. Like I'm gonna that. sit down. I'm gonna get up and let this fine gentleman sit in here. So <laughs> that way he can grade it. What do you think, Ethan? <laughs> what do you think, man? I like that. It's good, dude. It's I not, like not, you said, not that there's no dry, like, oh man, like aftertaste, yeah, right. it's just a fruity. It's not what you're expecting no. in a red. The, a handful of times I've drank wine, it's always like, it's almost like taking a shot for me. It's just so alcohol strong that I drink it and I'm like, mm. ugh, get it down. Um, this has doesn't have that at all and it's 20%. This is ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. Uh, fantastic. 20%. This is really good. That would be dangerous. <laughs> That's what I'm what? saying. What? <laughs> That's what I'm saying, dude. Um, I love being pleasantly surprised. I tried to start this off by like, I don't like wine, just so that it was a softer mm -hmm. impact when the number came out. But honestly, this is probably the best wine I've ever personally tried. Again, haven't drank a ton of wine. Um, I think it's fantastic. So uh, I'm, I'm going to score it. I'm going to give this like a fucking... Eight seven. Exactly. For a wine like this is, I've never drank a wine that was so like, oh, I could just literally just keep drinking this. Mm -hmm. Very easy to drink. What do you think? 
I, I'm gonna go eight and nine because I do, I do drink yeah, I wine, and I'll be really honest. Reds are never my thing. Your thing. Well, you're more They're, on the white side. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, to, I'm more. To, on, I'm more on the red side. Oh, okay. Yeah. And because I was pretty much imagining already what this was going to taste like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I admit that boldness was not. And it subverted there. It was all so expectations. Much smoother. Yeah. And yeah. this is for a home, you know, basically a home brewer and yeah. for a big winery to do this. Yeah, it's pretty dang good. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. Um, I'm going to go 8-6. Fuck yeah, eight dude. Six. So, all around high scores. Tim, you knocked this one out of the park, brother. Yeah. Hooray! This is fantastic. This is fantastic. <laughs> um, stick around. We got more stuff with Tim coming out soon. Uh, Tim's always trying new stuff, always reinventing his stuff. Uh, we love having Tim on the show. We love yeah. supporting Tim and trying his stuff. This was fantastic. I love subverting expectations. Um, if this was available in stores, I would highly recommend it. Oh, yeah, definitely. So mm. we just need to, we need to come up with a bunch of money to throw at Tim to get his stuff in stores. That'd be cool. Yeah. That'd be super coming, sick. Coming, working on paperwork. <laughs> support, Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, support Tim Beatty and support beverage hunters. Yep, support local guys. Yes. Thanks for joining us. Leave your comments down below. Are you a wine drinker? What kind of wine are you into? Let us know. We'll talk yeah. to you guys later. Bye. Till next time.